Hello everyone! Today we're going to be working on Keith Snell, a book called Fundamentals of Piano Theory, Level 1. And we're going to be only talking today about rhythm and time signatures. So let's uh, review test. This is the review test, the first unit in this book. And we're going to go to a second exercise that says odd bar lines to this rhythm and write in the counts. Okay, let's see how can we help ourselves to do this one. So, first of all, <laughs> I need the brush to show you how we can do that. Okay, so first of all, you're going to look at those two numbers, 2, 4. What does 2 mean? That means you have 2 beats per measure. And the second number tells you what uh, one beat is going to be equal to. When you see four, four is always going to be equal to a quarter note, okay? So that means that you have how many quarter notes per bar? Two, right? So that's what you're going to have here. You need to find those two quarter notes and then put the bar line after that. So where is your first quarter note? Right there, right? So you, you already have one. Where's your second one? You see those two uh, eighth notes? Two eighth notes together, they're going to make a full quarter note. So you're going to place your uh, bar line after that. Okay. I want you to finish the rest yourself using the same mathematics, remembering that you need two quarter notes. And after those two quarter notes, you can place a bar line. Okay. So try to finish this one for yourself. So let's look at number three. Oh, by the way, we forgot the second part, right in the counts. So, <laughs> in this case, I'm actually going to uh, show you the beginning is again. So, after you're going to place the uh, bar lines, what you're going to have to do is to write the counts. And so, this is obviously going to be your one, okay? And because we usually count one and two and... So your end is going to be right here. Where is going to be your two? Because your second quarter notes, second beat starts right here. You're going to write your two here. And you're going to write your end right there. And obviously a bar line. So again, try to finish the, right, the counting in by yourself. Okay, now we're going to look at number three. So what does it say? Write the correct time signature for those rhythms. Write and count. So you have two parts in this one. So first of all, uh, let's count uh, what is your, I mean, obviously you need, as in the first one, you need a, a first number that says how many beats do you have per measure, and you need a second number that says what this beat is equal to. Okay, so let's look at first measure. So uh, actually you need to write the counts in first to be able to tell how many beats do you have per measure and what beat is equal to and how many. So let's start with the first one. You see this one is one quarter note and a half because it's a dotted quarter note. So what you're going to have to write is this one, okay, and your end is actually going to fall right here and because the quarter note takes um, one beat and a half, your two is actually going to hear in between those two notes and the end of the beat goes right there and then you have the third quarter note which is going to be your three so how many beats do you have per measure you have three right and what one beat is equal to what one beat is equal to is a quarter note okay do you see that's your one and a half that's your completion of the second beat and that's the third beat okay so let's look at the set next measure Again, try to count it as yourself. So do you see that's a half note? So how uh, so how many beats do you have in the in the half note? You have two, right? And then you have another quarter note. This is your third beat. So you have again three, three beats. And which is one beat is equal to? It's a quarter note. So you've got to write four. So it's going to be three, four. Go ahead and try to complete it yourself. Again, writing the counts. Okay. Now, let's look at number four. Write the counts for those rhythms. Okay, so you already know that your time signature is 4-4. Four, four. What does it mean? That means you have four counts per each measure, and your one beat, because it says four, is equal to a quarter note. Okay, 
So let's start. I'm going to help you to write the beats for the first measure. Okay. So in the first measure, what first note do you have? You have half note, which is equal to one and two and because that is two beats. Okay. And then you have three folds right there. And because it's a quarter note, we're going to write three and and you four. You're going to fold. It's going to fold here, and your end is going to start right here. Okay. Does it make sense? Hopefully it does. So go ahead and try to complete the rest yourself. Okay, let's look at the very last uh, exercise on this page. This is a little bit different, isn't it? What is different about that? First of all, your count per measure is going to be six, not three, not two, not four. And one beat is not going to be equal a, a quarter note because it's not four, right? It's literally going to be equal, you have 6, 8 per measure, okay? And again, what does it say? Write in the counts for those rhythms. Because your one count is going to be, is going to be equal eighth note. You need to find six count here, okay? So this is going to be 1, this is going to be 2, this is going to be 3. Where is going to be your 4? Right there. It's going to be a 4, 5, and 6, okay? Because the dotted quarter has how many eighth notes in it? It has three eighth notes. So let me just remind you this is equal to plus <laughs> one eighth note. Okay, so it's going to be written either like this or it can be written sometimes like this. Okay, you just have to understand that the dotted quarter note is going to be equal. A one beat and a half if you in four four or two four but in six eight it's going to be equal one two three beats okay go ahead and try to complete yourself the rest and i'm looking forward to see you uh finishing this one should be easy for you if it's not just let me know